Today we're doing a quick test. Uh, we're gonna see what stop signs and traffic lights the autopilot system can see. We'll track them all here. They should show up right on the display. See if I can find any that don't show up. see it. There's a stop sign here. I thought it would be a yield sign. But that shows up. All right, two green lights and one flashing yellow arrow. Perfect. Two green lights and one red arrow. This parking lot there are some stop signs let's see if it gets this one of course this person is driving through the parking lot like a maniac okay yeah i got that stop sign even though that's a really short stop sign this stop sign it's covered by this grass here and kind of short but sees it just fine So there's no stop sign. There's also no stop line. Two green, one flashing yellow. Yep. <clears throat> See how it does with stop signs and traffic lights when it's a little darker out. We're still running software 2020.12. The red arrow seemed like it was changing between a light and an arrow, but still red. It turned green when it turned green. And two green. They're offset a little bit weird, but they're both on there. Trying a little different setup today. See if we can get a better image of the lights and signs that show up. That's new. It actually says stop in the sign. It's nice, it's really crisp. And yep. Right, got four lights here, two red and two red arrows. Sure. All right. So in this case, there's three red lights up there, but I ended up getting behind this truck. Let's see if it can see those lights change. It definitely turned green. see it until I could see it. So that was interesting because this truck is so tall and the distance we are from it, I mean much like a human driver, you can't see that light until you're really close up on it. Now obviously I would expect it to be green if the truck is going through it and it had just turned, but you know, it'd be interesting to see how autopilot would handle that intersection again with this scenario you still can't see the light until last time last second there so if it were red I guess when they initially roll it out it's going to be you have to choose to continue through the intersection so you're making the choice 
so you can actually see the light, it does see it correctly, but it's not soon enough to make a decision if you're going 40 miles per hour. And this one's interesting because we have about four stop signs in a row, but where the stop lines are indicated is interesting. Okay, so this stop line is indicated where it actually is, even though the stop sign is on the other side of the intersection. So that's accurate. And this one, I don't see any stop line. So this stop line is not shown. This stop line is shown. I mean, to be honest, there's too many stops here in front of this grocery store to make any sense. It's it's really not clear which ones you should or should not stop at. But there was one stop line that was not shown uh, by the autopilot display. 